Both the Samoyed and Siberian Husky originate from Russia, and they both have the same size and weight. They are very courageous and friendly towards their family, especially the Siberian Husky which are known to be together as a pack. But there are also quite a few differences between these two breeds that you will learn about in this video, divided into 8 topics. Let us know which race you prefer after the video. Number 1. Origin the Siberian Husky was developed by the Chukchi people of the Chukchi Peninsula found in the eastern part of Siberia, which is in the extreme northeastern part of Russia and some parts of Asia. The Samoyed, on the other hand, is recognized as the Basil breed, which predates the emergence of the modern breeds of the 19th century. The Siberian Husky is also called the Husky Saib. The Samoyed is also known as the Bielka Samoyedskaya Sobaka, with common nicknames such as Smiley or Sami. It is worthy to note that this breed still have a strain of their hunting skills to date. Number 2. Personality The Samoyed is an affectionate dog which is very alert in its courageousness. It is also cheerful, very curious with good intuitiveness. It is a very energetic and friendly dog and it is also gentle, lively, lovely and playful. The dog is known for its intelligence, independence, responsiveness, protective and territorial alertness nature, yet it can be stubborn, docile and quiet. The Siberian Husky on the other hand only shares some characteristics with the Samoyed which are alertness, friendliness, gentility, independence, intelligence, loving, stubbornness and outgoing. The Huskies are also known as escape artists as they have the tendency to dig under the fence or jump through the fence just to escape. They can as well chew through the fence if it's wooden. The Siberian Huskies always feel to be a part of the pack. This feeling is very strong. With this, and they are always in need of regular companionship from people and other dogs. Number 3. Appearance As earlier established that both dogs look alike, it is compelling that their features will definitely look alike, with little distinctions. The size of the husky across from the withers is up to 24 inches, which is 61 centimeters, and weigh up to 60 pounds, which is 27 kilograms. The coats are remarkable for its self-cleaning ability. The Siberian Husky has double coats and it is known to be thicker than most of the other breeds of dog, the undercoat and the guard hair. The undercoat sheds twice in a year. The shape of its eyes are almond structured. It may be either brown, blue or black in some instances. It can be party colored. They can curl up their tails over their face and nose so that it will provide additional warmth during cold. The Samoyed is medium in size, elegant with an appearance creating the impression that it has might, endurance and self-confidence. The size of the body at the shoulder is around up to 21 inches, which is 53 centimeters, and they weigh up to 65 pounds, which is around 30 kilograms. They also have double layered coats, but in this case it is dense. The top coat is long and coarse while the undercoat is dense, soft and short. The head is powerful and it is a wedge shape. The eyes are dark brown and they are well set into the socket. The ears are erect, small and thick. Number 4. Trainability Training the Samoyed is very easy, but for the Siberian Husky, it is not easy to train them. To train the Siberian Husky, the home must be prepared for them, and it is advisable that the compound is well fenced so that their plans of escape can be prevented. They are very active dogs from their puppyhood. It is important that they are given a whole lot of exercises. Socializing them to learn good behaviors and manners must also start from infancy. Though Samoyed hates to be trained, asserting one's authority on them makes the job easier. They need positive reinforcements to get trained, and this distinguishes them from the Siberian Husky. Number 5. Time Investment to take care of every dog is painstakingly time-consuming. As a working dog, the Samoyed is one dog that requires the presence of the owner at all times, as they do not like to be bored doing nothing. They require regular exercise on a large garden. The Siberian Huskies, being independent in nature, can be left alone, and they will get along with everybody, including strangers. But one must assure that leaving them behind should be with structures that will prevent them from escaping. The Siberian Huskies need proper care and attention. Failure to do this can bring out the destructive tendencies in them. Number 6. Best Home the Samoyed is a dog that should stay on properties containing a large garden or farm, 
so that they can exercise sufficiently as they like. Their regular exercise includes hiking, ball games and athletics. But for the Siberian Husky, even though the same property description suitable for the Samoyed will be good for them, they cannot be trusted with children because of how they are raised. The Chukchi people raise them in a family setting where they are not allowed to fend for themselves. Hence, no one should trust them with children. Today, the compound housing the dog should have a fence that is at least 8 foot high. But electric fencing for pets is not advisable as it might not be effective. Number 7. Health the Samoyed suffers from a variety of ailments. Most importantly are the genetic diseases. This disease is called the Samoyed hereditary glomerulopathy. It is a kidney disease. They also suffer from diabetes mellitus, which is similar to humans. Another health challenge they have is when there is a frameshift mutation of the retina, which leads to loss of vision in a slowly but progressive manner. They also suffer from an unusual development of growth around the hip. The Siberian Huskies are also suffering from genetic inclined diseases. They suffer from seizures, eye defects, unusual development and growth around the hip too. They have unusual growth around the larynx from birth, which can lead to paralysis. If used for sled racing, they may be prone to sicknesses such as gastric disease, bronchitis and ulcerations. The Samoyed and the Siberian Husky have a life expectancy of 12 to 14 years. Number 8. Cost the cost of a Samoyed puppy ranges between $600 and $1,000. If the dog has been registered with clubs, the price will also increase. The average cost of feeding the Samoyed is between the ranges of $300 to $500 yearly. For this breed, vet bills can be really expensive as one might need to cough out about $1,000 to take care of all the medical needs of the dog as an infant. For the Siberian Husky, the cost ranges between $800 and $1,300. If the dog is of a superior pedigree, the cost will be more. The price can go as high as up to $6,000. Feeding of the breed is put at $400 per year and between the range of $5 to $10 to treat it monthly. What do you think? Do you prefer the Samoyed or the Siberian Husky? Let us know in the comments and share your experience with other interested dog owners. And if you found this dog comparison helpful, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos and learn more about dogs every day. And if you're interested in dog brain training and training methods, you should also check out the description. Thank you so much for watching.